Um, I wanted to do just a really quick video to demonstrate something um, that I've learned on my little machine here. Um, I had an older, well it's not older, I had it for about six or seven years, a Singer sewing machine that um, when Margie gifted me this machine, I only used my Singer to do the tight zigzag stitches to kind of finish my seams inside of a garment. Well, that machine is dead and buried. <laughs> It just completely whacked out on me a few weeks ago, and I can't use it anymore. And I'm, I've got a whole stock of, of dresses that I've cut out here that I'm going to be um, listing on Etsy soon. And I thought, gosh, I really don't want to leave those inside seams raw like that. So I was trying to find a setting on my um, Viking to kind of replace that until I can get a cheap, um, another cheap sewing machine to use for the... Uh, edge stitching so I think Margie may have told me about this stitch and I went back to try and find her email and I couldn't I couldn't find it so you know I don't I want to kind of give her credit for that if, if that's the one you're talking about I think Margie but um, what I did was I played around with different stitches on this and I ended up really liking the um, number 36 on the cartridge A here that came with my machine and it's kind of a, I guess it's for quilting, that's what it looks like. It almost looks like a, um, I forget what you call that stitch. But it looks like this. And you can play around with it. It has uh, the two settings here that you can um, kind of spread out the where it comes down. And then you can make it longer. And um, so I'm going to try it on the 2.5 for the stitch length I guess going um, vertical and the horizontal I'm doing it at 3 3.0 so I just want to demonstrate and show you guys if you have this machine and you want to do that um, finishing stitch it works for now and it doesn't use as much thread as the zigzag because the zigzag is a broken zigzag stitch uh, you know it's not zig 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 did, 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 like that kind of a dot dot zigzag stitch so it uses a whole lot of thread but this one is, um, I don't think uses quite as much. So I'll just show you what it does so that you can see. I'm trying to keep it right on the edge. There's a little groove in this um, walking foot. And I have to say, Margie, you were so right about this walking foot. I love this friggin' thing. I put it on the other day and I almost don't want to use any other foot on this thing because it sews everything. But um, anyway... Yeah, that line is kind of my marker for where I want to keep the edge of the fabric, so... Okay, so you can see what we kind of get there. Let's see, it, it, for some reason this wants to knot up on the first little bit, so I'm not really sure what causes that, but I'm going to figure it out. I, I did... um loosen up the tension a little bit and I loosened up the presser foot so let's try another one tighten it back up just a tiny bit and see if that helps it's a really tricky stitch so I really am going to have to get another machine to use for edge stitching yeah. kind of get the same result with the tightening and everything up a little bit but and I found that on layers more than two it doesn't work because I was you see I was testing on this fabric and I folded it over and it it makes terrible mess when you try to do it on more than two layers so anyway I don't even know what that stitch is called I have never been a quilter I'm, I made my version of quilts for my kids before especially for a little daisy but I don't know anything about quilting if you guys know what this stitch is called this is one where I did it slightly shorter, I think. And I think I actually worked a little better. I like it for the edge stitching. So anyway, I just thought I would come in and share what I learned. You see, I was playing around with these stitches. Um, so that's it. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.